so excited. I love every single one of the photos that you have sent of your dogs <laughs> and the Dogs of Radius channel. It makes my life Thank complete. You. Thank you. Yeah. I'm so I got here. my Pa Hum Pug Christmas sweater on. <gasps> oh, that is so precious. So, and a snoring pug at my feet. So, all the, all the good things today. <laughs> A hundred percent, a hundred percent. I um, I don't have it like like a holiday e sweater that I brought with me, and I definitely should have um because I'm in Miami right now, yeah. um, and I didn't do that. And you have to go ugly Christmas sweater shopping. I know I really should, <laughs> and I'm embarrassed at myself that I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Ella. We'll let you. We'll let it slide. Really, you promise? I will. Holidays are busy. So we'll oh, that thank you. Out. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Hi, Carolyn. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So we have an exciting session today. Um, I'm just going through and quickly um, inviting everyone that has registered for the event. Um, I'm also just going to put a little... Uh, the channel but you can already see that we're live so i'm just why don't we go ahead and get started for right now and then agents will come in as you know we continue talking because i want to make sure that we maximize our time being able to talk through this and so awesome. i'm really excited yeah. um so, Kerlin, just so that you're aware, um, Tiffany is um, doing her mastermind today on holiday client outreach and appreciation, which you can also see from the title. Um, but it's really exciting because this is kind of our first holiday e mastermind that we've gotten the chance to to go through and um, just talk about how to end the year off with a bang and making sure that we're doing all of our client touches and outreach. And um, yeah, so Tiffany, I'm gonna let you take over. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Eli, I appreciate that. So when we talk about holiday outreach, um, the main objective is to, you know, you're always looking for a reason to reach out to your, you know, your sphere, your clients, past clients, people that you have in the pipeline right now. Um, and just stay in touch with them. So holidays are a really easy way to do that. And as you all probably know, there are so many holidays. Uh, there's pretty much daily holidays uh, that you can celebrate. So you can use that for your social media. You can use that as a reason to call through your database. Um, but if you Google what holidays are today, uh, you'll get a list of all the daily holidays. So, you know, you have National Pickle Day and National uh, Schnauzer Day and all these different things, right? So every single day, it gives you a reason to post or to reach out to your sphere of influence. Um, around this time of year, obviously, there's a lot of really big holidays, which will allow you to reach out in an even more meaningful way. So when we talk about Thanksgiving, for example, I'm thankful for you. Thank you for your referrals. You know, all the different messaging that you can do around Thanksgiving. There's so much content out there online. Um, so you can pull down the history of whatever holiday, um, throw that into chat GPT, uh, say reword this, um, and then you're not plagiarizing anyone else's post. Um, but you don't really have to recreate the wheel. There's a ton of stuff out there. Um, you can do gifts, you can do, um, you know, different videos, you can record a video and put that on your social. Um, but that's really, you know, the easiest way to be able to stay in front of your clients is to just kind of follow that. Now, end of the year, um, lots of big holidays, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, all the big ones. Um, and so I really like when agents do specific events around these as well. So for example, um, I have a lot of agents here locally in the Phoenix metro area where I live that do a holiday pie event. Now, events are amazing because they give you so many different opportunities to reach out to people. So you have multiple ways to reach out. So let's say I'm going to do a holiday pie event and it's my big event for the holidays to show appreciation to my clients. I have the opportunity to let them know to save the date. 
Uh, I can reach out again and ask them what kind of pie they like. Um, and then I can give them the information about where and when. So either I'm going to drop a pie off, they're going to come to the office and pick one up, they're going to come to a specific location and pick one up. Um, and you want to have it a, you know, a day or two before Thanksgiving so that they can grab it and have it for that holiday. It gives you an opportunity to see them in person if you want to. Um, if you want to drop the pies off, I know a lot of agents that do that, um, especially for maybe even their just their top 10 or their top 20. Um, and if you have a large sphere of influence, that's when you really want to do the event where they come and pick the pie up because then you get FaceTime with them. Um, pies are relatively inexpensive. Um, you can do the Costco giant pies. Those always give a really great impression. Um, and then, you know, you do have those multiple opportunities uh, to be able to, to connect with them. If they don't make it to the event, uh, you can reach out to them again, say, hey, I really want to get a pie to you. Um, you know, just multiple, multiple touches uh, from one event like that. You can also do uh, photos with Santa. I know a lot of agents that do those kinds of events. Those are always really fun. Um, you can have people bring a gift to donate. So you can make it a, a charitable event as well. Um, and it just really connects you with your database and shows them that you're, you know, you're giving back. Um, there's also some really cool automation. Um, there's a platform called Sly Broadcast, which I love. Uh, you can go in and sign up for 100 free uh, credits um, if you do a trial with them. And basically, you record a voicemail, and you just copy and paste in your phone numbers, and it'll go right to their voicemail. So it doesn't even ring their phone. What I like about that is that if you say, oh, my gosh, I've got 200 people that I need to reach out to, you can do a quick voicemail. It doesn't have to be specific. You can say, hey, Ela. No, you won't say, hey, Ela. You can say, hey, just wanted to wish you a happy holidays. I've been thinking about you. Thank you so much for supporting my business. If you have anybody, you know, sitting around the table, eating, talking about real estate, make sure you keep me in mind. Happy holidays, right? And that goes out to your entire database. So there are tools like that. Uh, a lot of times through your own personal um, CRMs, you may have a text feature where you can do that same thing. You can send a mass text out. And if it's your database and people that know you, then you're not spamming them. You're just telling them happy holidays. Um, so anybody feel free to re to jump in if you have any other things that have worked for you. Um, you know, this is a mastermind, so we want to be sharing ideas. So feel free to jump in. Um, I tend to talk a lot. I'm a salesperson. I wanted to ask you, Tiffany, though, what was like one notable experience for you where you had reached out to a client or you had sent them something and done one of these ideas and, um, maybe it had like a lasting impression on them. It was something that was a really great conversation starter. Um, yeah, that's, I, I'm wondering if, if you have any fun stories like that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, my background is title and escrow. Yeah. And every single year we always did um, holiday gifts for everyone. Mm -hmm. So, you know, depending on our budget and how many people we needed to reach out to, but I always got such a huge response from people just saying, thank you so much. That was so thoughtful of you. Um, you know, I've never worked with a company like this with, that, you know, sent me something for the holidays. I really appreciate it. People really love those types of, of touches, right? They mm -hmm. really, love it. it doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be elaborate. Um, if you did, you know, a, a candy cane and you made it into a little reindeer and took it around to all of your, you know, past customers. It's just these little gestures that people really love. They think it's just really special and really thoughtful. Um, and it keeps you in front of people. So, you know, you want to be top of mind. That's what we all want to be. When people think about real estate, you want your name to come up first for them and you always want to be in front of them. And that's one of the biggest challenges for most agents is staying on top of their sphere of influence. Like how do I keep in touch with my database without being obnoxious? Right. And the way to do that is, you know, provide value. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have the budget to be able to do something, you know, like a pie event or, you know, even a candy cane delivery, you don't have time to do that. Yeah. You can always call people 
and just say, hey, just wanted to reach out, wish you happy holidays. Um, you know, if, if you ever need anything, I'm here, you know, and, and have a conversation with them. That's mm-hmm. really the biggest thing. So I think that whatever you're able to do, if you're able to do something, then that's the most important thing. Do something, right? Mm-hmm. So this time of year, especially, it's so easy to reach out to your database, you know, and have those conversations. Just say, hey, are you thinking about making a move in the new year? Do you know anybody that's thinking about buying or selling a home? You know, please keep me in mind. Um, We don't ask for referrals enough. So, you know, when you have somebody on the phone, it's, it's the opportune time for you to do that. But for me in my past, I've always just been really surprised at how grateful people are for whatever, whatever you do. Right. Um, Because they're not expecting it. You have that kind of element of surprise on your side, I feel like. And so people know that real estate agents are super busy and they've got lots of different clients and, you know, they're always on the go. There's always something that they are focusing on, always some milestone that they're trying to hit. And so Mm -hmm. for you to just kind of take a step back, pause and reflect and show that sign of appreciation, even that in and of itself shows that you're willing to go the extra mile and that you're willing to, you know, show the people that you work with that you care about them. And yeah. I think that that's really important. I know um, even even just like for me, um, as like we're building our, um, like as we're building out things internally, even as a team internally, you know, we want to make sure that we're showing and stopping to to take that time and show that appreciation. It doesn't have to be something super expensive or elaborate, but even just getting that um, that little touch that even can get you some more extra face time can be a game changer. Yeah, yeah. And you know, one thing that I always did in my, in my previous position too is um, I always did birthday cards for people, and I would just put like a little two dollar scratcher ticket in there, like a little. Mm-hmm. A lotto ticket and people would call me and they'd be like I didn't win anything but that was so cool right like oh. yeah, I mean just little tiny things like that like you know and and if you google pop buys real estate pop buys yeah there are so many cute ideas out there Buffini is the master of all things you know built by referral and if you look up uh, the Buffini group and pop buys mm-hmm. real estate agents you can even buy those already made for you. You can buy them through the Buffini company. You can buy them through Etsy. And it's basically these little cute gifts that you can, you know, give to people. And they're called pop buys because you just pop by and drop something off. You know, Oh, pick. you're saying, okay. I am so <laughs> dumb because I'm sitting here being like, Popeye, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we can do the next Exactly, yeah. No, oh that, that, it's an old um, expression from the Buffini program built by referral. And yeah. you just, you pop by their house and you drop something off of value. And it can be information. It can be, you know, a small little item. Um, you do that. You can do these cute little cards that go with them with little sayings on it. Um, and it, it's a little bit cheesy, but it's supposed to be cheesy. So, yeah. um, you know, it's it's a really cute way to keep your costs low, but still have something that's kind of cool. I mean, people love to get free stuff. You know, they don't Absolutely. they don't care what it is. They love they love it if it's free. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's a that's another thing around the holidays is that you know it's super easy to find these cute little items that you can you know take to somebody and just say, hey, it's thinking about you. Um, some people do poinsettias. They do you know for their top clients whether they'll deliver those. Those are nice because um, some you know you can buy those relatively cheap around this time of year. And then it's just nice to have, you know, you're having holiday parties or you're having people over. It's nice to have a little plant or something like that. Um, But yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing to think about is, you know, your client base, how many people you have. And even if you can only do five, right. Find your five, your top five people who have referred you business in the last year and do something special for them. And again, doesn't have to be expensive. You could even just say, hey, you know, I want to buy you a Starbucks or let's go out for a drink or something like that. Because 
it's going to really show them the appreciation. And they're those people that are helping you build your business. You want to make sure that you are thanking them and keeping them in mind when you're, you're doing these things. And if you do something, it's better than doing nothing. Right. Exactly. It's, it's, it's relationship building 101. And so um, I think that that's really important too, because I mean, for obvious reasons, it's important, but um, even just aside from that, I think that, when the holidays come around too, you never know what people's circumstances are. And mm-hmm. so for them to just kind of receive this little extra token, like that is something that you're not trying to get their business. You're not trying to, you know, mm-hmm. sell them something, but you're just genuinely letting them know that you're yeah. out there and that, you know, you care. Yeah. And so I think that that's really, really special. Um, yeah. Caroline, I wanted to ask you too, is there anything that you have seen or done around the holidays for your clients that uh, got you a really great reaction or um, was something that, you know, just really stood out to you in previous years? Oh, this is my first year in real estate. So it is. This, yeah, this is going to be my first holiday season. So I'm just taking notes and uh, writing stuff down so that I can be prepared for this season. That is so exciting. Well, congratulations. This is like, that's awesome. Um, what were you kind of thinking of to begin with? I, I, I'd love to, to hear what you were kind of thinking out of the things that Tiffany has kind of talked about, or if you just had an extra idea by yourself. Oh, so I was actually, she said to do like thank you notes. So I was going to actually like get like some postcards and mail out to my um, buyer clients. And yeah. um, then also to like some of the leads that I've gotten, hopefully their address is correct. I can mail it out to them as well. Great. Yeah. Handwritten notes are a big one. You know, I mean, it really shows people that you care. Um, it's just that little extra effort, you know, putting in there. Um, I'm a big fan of that. And I think that, you know, even for me at Thanksgiving, I sat on the couch, you know, the day before Thanksgiving and just texted through everybody and, you know, send them, I hope you have a relaxed and happy holiday and a little turkey emoji, you know, and it took me 20 minutes, you know, it, it takes, it takes very little time even to just throw together a handwritten note, throw it in the mailbox. Um, so I think that's a really great idea. And, it, you know, as your business grows, it gets to be more and more. So there are different things that you can do. Also, there's some really great programs out there. Uh, There's one called Handwritten, uh, W-R-Y-T-T-E-N, I think, Handwritten, um, where you can actually go in and do postcards or cards, and it looks like um, it was handwritten, right? So that's the whole point. And people don't really know what your, you know, your handwriting looks like. So, um, and then there are other platforms where you can actually upload your own actual handwriting um but i feel like with handwritten it looks handwritten (laughs) so it's like it's a win um but you can do that as well so that you can still have that personal touch but save yourself a little bit of time um and you can even do gift cards through them um so there's a lot of different platforms out there too that can kind of speed up that process but still you know as your business grows especially and you're looking at writing hand written notes to 200 people it gets a little bit overwhelming um, but with technology, we can still have that, you know, personal touch and they'll mail it out for you as well. So that's always really nice. Cause for me, I go to the mailbox like once a month, <laughs> right. To drop something off. So, uh, so yeah, I think that, you know, just as you grow your business, you know, you want to, you want to keep things inexpensive, especially in the beginning until you're starting to see some revenue. Um, once you have your revenue and you're, you know, you're getting those leads and stuff, figure out where your business is coming from, right? And make sure that you take care of your top referral partners and show them appreciation, you know, all year, but especially around the holidays. It's easy, you know, to remember who has supported you and supported your business, you know, over the past 12 months. So always a good idea to, to kind of get that started. I usually look at early November to start thinking about what I'm going to do. And a lot of real estate agents love to do something for Thanksgiving because it's an easy thank you. And also you can kind of wrap up your year, you know, a little earlier if you get all that done for Thanksgiving and then you can kind of take the, the, you know, 
the last part of the year off a little bit, but still, you know, still, still be out there prospecting, but still, you know, have that off your plate because there's so much to do around, you know, Christmas, Hanukkah. Um, so yeah, definitely. Um, I have a couple of agents that have grown their business over time and they do really big holiday events. So I have a, an agent that hires somebody to come in and play Santa Claus and they do photos with Santa and they do that early. Oh, that is so fun. Oh my gosh. Do they let them like sit on Santa's lap and be like, what do you want for Christmas? Yes. And they do family photos. And a lot of people use that as their, as their family photo to send out their Christmas cards. Oh, that Uh, is adorable. So yeah, she, she pays for Santa to come and does all that. They have all the food and then that's where they do the, the gift donations as well. So everybody brings a gift and they donate it to a local charity. Um, so it's a very, very fun, warm, fuzzy event and people really appreciate it. And she does it in early November so that you have time to have your your family photo done and get your Christmas cards ordered and all that stuff too. I have another agent that does Christmas in July. And she actually has Santa come for Christmas in July and they do photos with Santa and then, you know, people can use that for their holiday cards too. And they've got it done, you know, several months in advance. So that's that a, that's so a nice fun. one. Yeah. That's a I nice mean, one too. Cause it's just out of the blue in the middle of summer. Nobody's thinking about Christmas. And so it's a, it's a good attention grabber for her. <laughs> so uh, lots of, <laughs> lots of ideas. I mean, there's so many different things that you can do. One other thing I wanted to mention, we talked about keeping your expenses low. Uh, summer events are really great for that. So for example, people go out to watch fireworks. It's hot, right? So some of my agents will grab a cooler, throw a bunch of uh, popsicles in there and go hand them out to people that are getting ready to watch fireworks. Um, Really inexpensive. Uh, You can also do an event where you plan it in advance and have people come down to a local park. So especially if you're farming a specific geographic area, you can find a park that's available and you can do a popsicles in the park event. And it's really inexpensive. People come, they grab a popsicle. You get to talk to the parents while the kids are enjoying their popsicles and playing in the park. And there's a lot of things like that that are not going to cost you a lot of money and are going to get you a lot of face time. So I'm here if you need any ideas. Um, Like I said, this was my previous life was helping real estate agents with marketing um, and figuring out really low cost ways to stay in touch with your clients. And I think that as agents, we need to be really, really cognizant of making sure that we stay in front of our past clients because a lot of times we get distracted with new business um, and we forget about these people that know, like, and trust us already. (laughs) And we forget that they're a great source of referral. And that's how you build a long-standing real estate business is through referral, right? So the goal needs to be, how do I stay in touch with um, the people in my sphere to gain that referral business from them over the long term so that at some point I'm busy enough that I don't have to do as much prospecting. Um, And it's a lot less expensive to take care of a current client than it is to gain a new one. So just keep that in mind. Um, And then any other questions from you, Ela, or anything else from the group about um, I was just, I was, I was going to share really quick too, um, when you were talking about the, the Christmas in, in July, I just thought that was so funny. Cause when I was, when I was little, um, my family, we always kept our tree up all year round because at some point my, my dad was just like, we take it down just to put it up every single year. I don't want to keep doing this. And so when my friends would come over, there was a joke that would always keep going that it's that it's always Christmas at the Avinash household and so um I just wanted to interject that one quick antidote anecdote yeah. in there because I thought that, that was really fun um because I forget that people still like do that where they'll celebrate Christmas um in July and I just think that that's fun yeah. um 
while we're talking about holiday outrage and appreciation, I know I I intended this on being specifically for Christmas and for like a lot of those end of year holidays, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, New Year's. Um, But are there any other holidays throughout the year? I mean, we could do a different mastermind on this, obviously. Um, But just one of your favorites for a different holiday that also comes to mind. I know you touched on Thanksgiving a little bit and then 4th of July, but um, I know we've got like Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day. There's... Martin Luther, like there's just, there's, there's so many different holidays and things like that too. So. um, Yeah. I think um, one of my favorites, um, Easter is really easy to do. You can do an egg hunt, um, you know, in the park, you can drop off little Easter baskets, different things like that. Easter is a really great one. You could do an Easter bunny photo shoot too. That would be really cute. Um, And then one of my personal favorites, because it's so easy Another 4th of July idea, um, if you go to a dollar store, like a Dollar Tree, they usually have the three pack of the sparklers, right? (gasps) And so those are really cute to, you can either do all three of them or you can break them up and do one pack. And then Mm -hmm. you do a little card that says, you light up my business with your referrals, right? So the cheesy- Oh, that is so cute. I love that. And it's not a lot, right? Obviously, it's like 33 cents if you do just one box. But you put a cute tag on there and a little ribbon and stuff, and you you give it out to people. Um, and so I think that's probably one of my favorite holidays to do stuff around just because it's really super inexpensive and really easy to do. And then, you know, with the people watching fireworks, right? You've got a group of people that you could walk around to and chit chat with. And you know, hand out your popsicles or hand out your sparklers or different things like that. Um, so I, I feel like it's just such an easy way yeah. to, you know, to network with people, to talk to people. And we really just want to be having conversations, right? Mm-hmm. That's the biggest goal is just how many conversations can you have every single day to let people know that you're a real estate agent? Um, but yeah, I mean, you could do, I love national donut day. I feel like national donut day comes around like five or six times a year. <laughs> Are, we all- complaining? Are we no. complaining though? That's, that's the <laughs> not complaining. Um, uh, so you have national donut day. The other thing too, is like outside of holidays, there's also events, right? Mm-hmm. So like, let's say you live in a neighborhood and you're having a neighborhood garage sale day, right? Yeah. You could go get, like five or six, you know, half dozen donuts and take them around to people that are having a garage sale and just say, Hey, I want to drop some donuts off. I'm your local real estate agent. Here's my card. If you need anything, let me know. Right. They are captive audience. They are not going anywhere (laughs) outside their house and they are accessible to you. So when you have an opportunity like that, especially if you're doing geographic farming You know, you could even sponsor the neighborhood um, garage sale if you guys don't have one, Mm -hmm. pay for the signs, put your logo on there. And, you know, there's so many ways to generate business that even if it's not a holiday event, if it's an event, Mm -hmm. you can be part of it. You can support it Um, if you're doing geographic farming, especially. Right. So think about that. If you see a community neighbor community yard sale sign this weekend. Right. Go grab some donuts and go walk around and talk to these homeowners that are sitting out there. Probably, you know, they might be busy. They might not be. But you can slap a business card on there and go in and say, hey, you know, I just want to bring you some donuts. Good luck today. I hope you sell everything, you know, all that stuff. But, you know, connecting with people. So holidays, like grab the weirdest holiday, right? Go in and Google when is national whatever day you know Um, there's a day for something i promise you anything you can come up with there is a day for that yeah and if you google what holidays are today you'll usually get eight or nine different results right um so if you're a dog person right you could find out what day is national puppy day and you could put together some little bags with little bones in them you know little milk milk bones Mm -hmm. and put a tag on there you know and and give them out to people it's, it's super easy to do. But yeah, the holiday thing is easy because there are so many. <laughs> it's national something day every day, you know. So grab onto that and just post something and say, hey, it's national whatever day. Um, 
you could even do a social media post and say, hey, it's National Puppy Day. I have 15, you know, packs of dog bones. Uh, message me and they'll go to the first 15 people that respond. And then you get the opportunity to follow up with them and figure out, you know, how you're going to get them to them. Um, but yeah, contests are great too. Hey, it's National Whatever Day. The first 15 people to comment, I'm going to draw a name and you're going to get this prize, right? So you're going to generate more interest in your social media. You're going to get, you know, people commenting, which gives you good Google juice, you know, all the good stuff. Um, so yeah, I mean, start getting creative. Um, social media doesn't cost anything. You know, Guy, Gary Vanacek, uh, come came out with a video recently and he said, you know, as a real estate agent, social media is your best tool because it doesn't cost you a dime. It costs you no money. And so, you know, posting on social media for National Pickle Day, <laughs> you know, and put a little, go into Canva, create yourself a little, you know, picture. It's National Pickle Day. Are you a dill pickle or a sweet pickle? Or do you hate pickles, right? Like, comment below. Uh, people get real, you know, worked up about their favorite things and things they hate. Uh, National Pineapple on Pizza Day. Do you think pineapple on pizza is great or do you think it's the worst thing that's ever happened to I me? actually <laughs> like pineapple on pizza. I love yeah. it. And it's I my, don't understand why I get so much hate. I don't know. I don't know. Ham and pineapple is my favorite. That is my favorite pizza. So. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah. 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 Inquiring minds want to know what kind of pizza I like. But, <laughs> <laughs> but National me, Pizza It's Day. me specifically that yeah. wants to know what kind of pizza that you like, Tiffany. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, I mean, you know, think about it. And, and also, like I said earlier, you know, if you see a cool post that somebody did, copy it, throw it into chat GPT, say reword this and go, right? Just keep it simple. You don't have to recreate the wheel. There's a lot of content out there. Awesome. Well, yeah. that brings us to the end of our mastermind for today. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I know we've got some other exciting rooms and Zoom coming up today. So, Kerlin, if you um, are interested at all, there's always new rooms that are happening throughout the week, each week. We will be taking a break um, in between Christmas and New Year. Um, so there is that happening. But um, like Tiffany was saying, social media is an agent's most powerful tool. We will be having another room tomorrow um, on viral trends and how to best utilize them for real estate content. So um, be sure to check it out, Tiffany, if you are free tomorrow at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Feel free to check it out. But um I just want to thank you guys for joining me today and um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Tuesday and we'll see you again next time. Thank you again, Tiffany, so much. Thanks, Ela. Bye. Bye now.